I support Congressman Vern Buchanan's efforts for two reasons. Because I don't believe that congressmen and senators should be immune to what everybody else is going through. Every household in America has to make budget cuts, and so does the federal government, but it should also apply to the congressmen and the senators. As a matter of fact, I would even propose something a little bit further, which is a 10% pay cut in our salaries as well. And I believe that if all federal employees were to take a 10% pay cut, make over $100,000 a year. And as a matter of fact, I do a little bit of research, and it's not specific to this day, but this was a couple years ago, there are 320,000 federal employees who make over $100,000 a year. If they were to take a 10% pay cut, that would be an immediate savings of $3.2 billion right away. We're not even talking about fringe benefits and everything else associated with that. And if you hold their salaries for three years, that's another nine or $10 billion of real savings. Now, that's a small amount compared to the big budget cuts that we need to do, but I think that's a different culture that we need in Washington. We don't need people to say, well, that's only a billion dollars. Well, that's only a hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's only a million dollars. Because what it is, is all these small amounts that are being overspent or unnecessarily spent get out of hand. For a quick example, look at the ATF and the DEA. Both of them are law enforcement type agencies with offices in Boston, yet they don't share the same building. They have two different addresses. So now we're spending two different utilities expense, two different supervisory expenses, two different security expenses, because they're federal buildings. You have to hire security guards for each building. Yet why can't they consolidate and work out of the same building and have the same agency? So those are the types of things that I would like to look at. As a matter of fact, Representative Isa from California sits on a House Oversight and Reform Committee, and what he does is looks at the number of agencies that are repetitive, that are redundant, that need consolidation, or that overlap. They may not be 100% redundant, but half of the functions they do overlap with another agency. So we're not even talking about Democrats speaking to them saying, we want to get rid of the government. It's getting rid of the waste, the fraud, and the abuse that exists in the government right now.